Hey guys, it is Nikki here. Um, I made a video quite a while back, and it was on tampons and pets. And this time, I have more things. Um, a lot of people find going to the bathroom and changing their tampon and pad very embarrassing. Why? Every girl's going to have a period, and a lot of girls like they hide it like. Like, oh, can I have a tampon? Oh, yeah, here I go. Shove it in your pocket, and we're like, done. Like, why would you do that? I don't. I, I can walk through the hallways in my high school, just like this, walking to the bathroom. Who cares? They're going to know that every girl has their period anyways. Why are you going to embarrass about it? Every girl has their period. Every girl's been there and done that. So don't be embarrassed. But first, we're going to start off with this pad looking thing um yeah pads are the simplest thing to use um it's just in a wrapper this is fairly old so they're a lot nicer than this this is what my sister used when she had her baby so that's fairly big there's bigger ones that she had to use but this is the smaller one and you just go pull it open and it's kind of like an envelope and it's close the envelope close the envelope <laughs> And you just pull it out and open it up. That's what a pad pretty much looks like. This is fairly old, like I said. Most of them have flex wings, which go around your underwear so they stay in place. Those I recommend. They're a lot better. Um, this is a maxi pad for people who have had a baby. Um, normally, you, they're fairly bigger. And my sister, when you have a baby, you're bleeding down there for at least six weeks um and you just take it and there's a wrapper on the bottom where the sticky part goes and you just go and then you stick it in your underwear and it's sticky like i said you know like and is it like i said these are fairly big i mean this covers my whole hand and a little bit more than my wrist so <laughs> Anyway, it's, and they're fairly absorbent, and they catch it, and when you're done with a pad, don't touch this. You're going to take it off, you know, just, and then you're just going to roll it up or fold it, however you want to, and when you get a new one, I put that on, take this off, open the new one, take the new one off, take this sticky thing if you still have it, stick it on the one flap and part of it and kind of like wrap it up like a present. <laughs> I don't know any other way to say this. And then take your wrapper that you had, put it in it, and throw it away. Simple enough. Now moving on, these are flushable moist wipes. This is a family dollar brand. Um, fresh and clean um, Fenneman wipes I recommend these or you can use baby wipes whatever to clean down there because when you're in a period it's gonna stink it's it break it to you especially girls who don't take showers every day which I always do I think that's what girls should do but you just take your wipe um, one wipe and you just clean and throw it away or Put it on the toilet. Whatever. I'm gonna stick that in there with the pad. Okay. On to tampon. When you start using a tampon, I suggest you use the lightest one there, the smallest one out. Which would be the purples in most case, but the light. Tampons have so many different rumors going around. Um, I've heard rumors that they've mess up down there. If they mess up down there, they would not sell these. They wouldn't even make these still. So, that's a rumor. Second is, when you go to the bigger sizes, like supers and so on, people say you have to have sex before. That's typically not the case. Some people can fit them before sex and some people can't. I'm not going to tell you, like, oh, you can't use because you had sex. No. It's worth a shot. You have a 50% chance that it's not going to fit, 
or that it's going to hurt. It's normal. So, just don't worry about it. Try it once. If it hurts, then don't use it. But in this case, I have a regular, which is the most kind I pretty much use most of the time. Um, this is a Tampax Pearl Gentle Glide. Most tampons are plastic that have Gentle Glide in them. Some more cardboard. For regular, for instance, regular Tampax are cardboard. That's just horrible. I would not stick cardboard up my vagina. So I just get these, and my mom tries to get me to get the cardboard because they're cheaper, and I said, no. Need to break it to you, mama, but no. Um, so pretty much tampons are easy to open. Um, just take it and go. And you're right there. Um, you're just gonna, this is awkward. Take this out. <laughs> I think nothing is awkward, but this is pretty awkward, you know, just showing girls how to use a tampon. Anyways, you have your tampon, and you do not want to touch this when you're going to stick it up there. No. You do not touch it from this end right here to the very tip. Um, I'm going to try not to touch it as much as possible, but since I'm not actually sticking it up me, it's okay to touch it. Because it's not going inside your body. But if you're showing somebody how to use it, you're fine. Anyways, you have this string that hangs out, and that's just going to hang out of your body when it's in there. I don't think, I think there's going to be more than this. But, and then, on the thing, woo, if I can get it, right there, ooh, where am I? right there is a thing, so you can keep grip of it. I suggest you use your thumb and your middle to, um... Pretty much keep a hold of it so your index can like push it up. I don't have anything to show you guys. Oh wait, maybe I do. Maybe this will help. Um Okay. Um let's see if it fits through C D. And look, it does. So say this is your vagina. Your vagina will be smaller than this, by the way, when you go put this in there, your vagina stretches, but anyways, this fits, it's better than my hand, you're just going to go, whoop, stick it in there, and I want to hide this information on here, because it's a wedding for my parents, but, like that, and then when you have your, whew, fingers touch it, okay, oh gosh, this is hard, okay, whew, all right. When you have your fingers touch it, you're going to have it to where your fingers touch your skin. For instance, this would be the CD. And you're just going to go. It's going to stay there in your vagina. I'm going to pull it out and about this much string will hang. And about this much string will hang out of you. Um, when you put this in, that way you can... Remove the tampon while you're in, it's up in there, in your blood. Um, but before we move on, when I use a tampon, I take this from the wrapper and just go down back into the wrapper and close it up and just throw it away. Um, the tampon has a sewn-in thing right here. It's a leak guard, so when you leak kind of out of, it's going to collect it and send it back up into the core. Anyway, which would be the middle of this, and don't worry about the string coming off when you pull it because it is so tightly in here. Um, the best way to show you guys what happens when the tampon is inside of you is to have water. Um, this is the only glass I have that's clear, which is a wine glass, pretty much as you guys see. It's just full of tap water. But, I'm going to set this down to show you guys. I'm all wearing elbow pajama pants if you're wondering. Anyways, when you have your tampon... For instance, right here. Um, you just want to take it, and when it's in your vagina, it happens a lot slower than what it is, but it's not going to soak up like it does in here when it's in your vagina, and it just goes whoop, spreads out, baby spreads out, you know, and it's not going to fill up that much. It's just going to kind of fill up and bring this down. I don't want to. 
rip any of it and you just pull it out like that when you go down the toilet this is what it smells like but it's not going to be like this when you pull it out when you pull it out it's going to be a circle again <laughs> um, like how it was when you put it in but a little bit bigger and when that happens um, if you have a septic tank which is where people come out and drain it for you when they get stinky outside um, that's a septic tank do not flush this the tampon itself and the applicator and the wrapper is not flushable either so pretty much if you just live in the city and you have a sewer then you can flush this in my case I can't so that's good anyways let's put that to the side that is the video and I think this will help you guys so if you guys still have any questions comment subscribe and or just inbox me any questions so hope this helps guys have a great day